Let's review the steps to long division using our family. Remember, dad divides first, mom multiplies, sister subtracts, brother brings down, and finally Rover repeats or puts the remainder in the quotient. We will use these steps to solve a few different long division problems. Let's take a look at 486 divided by 2. The first step is dad dividing. Dad looks at the first digit in our dividend and says how many or what is 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is a basic math fact. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So dad puts the 2 above the 4 in the quotient. Mom double checks dad's work and mom multiplies. Mom says 2 times 2 equals 4. She places the answer to that product 2 times 2 right below the number 4 in our dividend. Then sister subtracts. 4 take away 4 is 0. And brother brings down. He slides the next number, 8, which is in our dividend, down next to the answer that sister found. Rover then takes this number brother helped create and repeats. He takes it back up so dad can start our process all over with dividing. Dad says 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 8 divided by 2 is a simple division fact, so he places his answer to that problem in our quotient. Mom double checks and says 4 times 2 equals 8. She places her answer down, so sister can subtract. 8 take away 8 is 0. Brother brings down the 6 and slides it right down to the answer sister found. And Rover can take that number and repeat. Dad then takes 6 and says 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 6 divided by 2 is a simple math fact, a division fact, that Mom can then double check with multiplication. 3 times 2 equals 6. Sister subtracts. 6 take away 6 is 0. And there is nothing for brother to bring down. So Rover does not need to repeat. There is a 0, which Rover says there is no remainder. Therefore, 486 divided by 2 equals 243. 243 is the quotient or answer to our long division problem. If we look at another problem, 276 divided by 3. We use these same steps to long division in this problem. Dad begins and he looks at our first digit of our dividend and says 2 divided by our divisor of 3. 2 divided by 3. Hmm. 2 cannot be split into 3 parts because 2 is smaller than 3. Dad says that will not work, so he puts a 0 above the 2. I turn it into a smiley face to hold the place value of that digit. Now Dad looks at 2 along with the next digit, which would make a 27, and says 27 divided by 3. Another basic math fact, 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. Mom double checks, 9 times 3 equals 27. And after mom multiplies, sister subtracts 27, take away 27 is 0. We are not done yet because brother has a number he can bring down. 
He brings the six down and says, Rover, go repeat. Then Dad can start our process over. Dad divides six divided by three is another basic math fact. Six divided by three is two. We are not done just because we filled in all of the missing numbers up above our dividend. Mom still has to double check and multiply. Two times three equals six. Sister subtracts six, take away six is zero. Now there is nothing for brother to bring down and Rover has no remainder to put as part of the quotient. Therefore, 276 divided by 3 equals 92. We could quickly double check this if we wanted to by taking our, our quotient times the divisor and that should equal our dividend. 92 times 3 we know 3 times 2 is 6, and we know 3 times 9 is 27. Therefore, our answer or product to this multiplication problem double checks and matches up with our quotient. These are simple steps to follow when you're solving a long division problem. Remember, dad divides, mom multiplies, Sister subtracts, brother brings down, and Rover either repeats those steps or helps put a remainder in our quotient. We did not have any remainders with these problems. However, some division problems will result in a remainder. These simple steps can be used anytime you are solving a long division problem.